Hello and welcome to the School Speakers Blueprint. How to get paid to inspire when you have little to no experience. I have literally just recorded the whole program and watched back, watched it back, and there was no sound. So, <laughs> <sighs> patience. My name is Frederick Afriba, and I'm a multi-winning school speaker. So happy that you are here today. To be very clear, the information you will get here is the only information you need to start getting into schools and start getting paid to inspire people in education. Okay, it's the only information that you need. Guaranteed. So what we'll be covering, there'll be three modules. Module number one is picking your speech. How to pick a speech that a school will want to hear. As part of you getting into schools, you're going to have to be quite heavy on the outreach. And it's really important that, and it's really important that the way you package your talk is something that schools actually want to hear. Okay, so schools are the client. Number two, write your speech. How to write a speech that schools will love. Again, the common determinate the common denominator is schools. That is the client. Sometimes people I get confused and they think that the client is the audience. That's hardly ever the case. The client is the person paying. The audience, other people listen. Okay, so there is a, a two different things. And number three, how to get into schools. So getting into schools, getting paid, how to go into as many schools as possible, and how I did it. Okay, so this, these are the, the three modules that we're going to cover in this program. So about myself, if you have no idea who I am, my name is Frederick Freefall. I'm an international sprinter turned public speaker. So I have spoken in nurseries. I have spoken in primary schools. I have spoken at secondary schools. I have spoken in colleges. I've spoken at universities. I've spoken in private schools. I've spoken in state schools. When it comes to education, I have a wealth of experience. I also didn't have me. So I didn't have someone. Who was doing the thing that I wanted to do, who was willing to tell people about how they got there. Okay, so for me it was a lot harder, I would say, because I, I just had to learn it myself, I had to learn on the job. I'm also a communications coach, I'm a public speaking coach, and I specialize in helping people reduce their anxiety and become more comfortable when speaking and communicating. I also work with a number of different councils and local governments like Croydon like Hackney, to be a role model for the young people. Okay, so I do attend events for them. I do keynotes, I volunteer at their events to help the next generation. So I've been able to do a number of different things within the space. I have had mentors. However, even just finding mentors was a challenge. And I was able to build a, a full-time job out of nothing, really. So. I'm going to tell you about my experiences and how I got here. And I'm going to be giving you the whole blueprint, honestly. After this program, the problem won't be information. It will just be implementation. So if after this, you don't manage to get into schools, it's simply because you didn't implement the things that I spoke about in this program. Okay, And that's like guaranteed, promise you. So this is my timeline. I first contacted a school in 2017, but I wasn't actually serious about getting into school. It's just one of the many ideas that I had, like becoming a model, becoming a musician, becoming a public speaker. It's just one of those things that I thought would be cool to do. I first had my first school visit in 2019. It was the first time I visited a school to speak. I then joined an organization called Sports for Schools who got athletes into schools and free sports for schools i spoke a lot in primary schools around the country so it's quite a big agency once i kind of saw what sports for schools was doing i started to understand a few things i wanted to push myself and speak at secondary schools and colleges and universities so i set up ff for limited which is my personal brand it's me and by our ff for limited i've been able to partner up with a number of different organizations which is where i'm at now partnered with a, a lot of organizations about five 
in the UK that I work alongside to get into schools around the country. If you were to Google my name, you'd be able to see all of the organizations I have worked with. Why is this important? Number one, if you're here, I'm assuming that you are called to speak to the next generation. That you're called to speak to young people. What I have found is that schools often need help. And it's nothing against teachers, but often having an external person say the exact same thing that a teacher would say is helpful. They say it takes a village to raise a child. And even with parenting, I'm not a parent, but I hear that sometimes having an external uncle or auntie or cousin say the same thing that a parent would say is incredibly helpful. So schools actually need people that are relatable to these young people to go in and speak on certain topics. And number three, for yourself, it's important because you can create a substantial income via influence, via inspiring the young generation, via helping people. You can actually create a substantial income by doing that. Okay. So without further ado, let's get straight into it.